Okay, if I asked you to think about what the word buffer meant to you, even not in a chemistry sense, but just think about what buffer means, and I asked for examples or definitions from you all, a lot of people would come up with examples that um, keep things apart, keep things separated, keep things safe. Um, buffers in the acid-base sense do that. They take a system, um, if you have a buffered system, it will keep the pH relatively co close to where it started, even if an acid or a base are added. Uh, it basically takes up any of that extra H or OH that's being added and neutralizes it so the pH doesn't change much. A common example is in your blood. Your blood is buffered. There are buffers in your blood. So the pH of your blood can't change much, which is a really good thing because if the pH of your blood did change, um, you could die. So what do you need in order to have a buffer? What makes up a buffer? There are two conditions. You have to meet both of them. In order to have a buffer, you need to have a weak acid and, not or, but and, its conjugate base. So you just did all of that practice with conjugate pairs. Essentially what we need is a conjugate pair. Um, the only thing, the only like little asterisk I'll give you, it has to be a weak acid and its conjugate, sorry, its conjugate weak base. If we have a strong acid or a strong base, not a buffer. So not anything strong. We're looking for acid-base pairs that are both weak. Um, so for example, I could ask you, will the following make a buffer? HIO and NAIO. Will it be a buffer? And so we need to look for, do I have a weak acid? And once I have that weak acid, do I have its conjugate? HIO starts with an H, good idea that's an acid. It's not strong, it's not on the list I memorized. I could double check by looking at my Ka, Kb chart. And yes, this is a weak acid. So if you then look at NaIO, you might say, ah, yeah, they're different by one H, but this one also has an Na, not a buffer. Generally, it would be good for you to realize they're different by more than one H, like different by an H and a sodium. So they are not a conjugate pair as they currently are. However, this is a salt. So hydrolysis is coming back in a little bit, not the calculations, but the concept. In this salt, the conjugate weak base might be hiding. So I take this NaIO, that's a salt, and I see what's hiding in it. Na is a plus one, Io is a minus one. I have my weak acid, its conjugate weak base needs to have one less H plus, right? The acid should always have one more H. So when I break this salt apart, do I have this with one less H? Yes, I do. That is my conjugate weak base. So my answer would be yes, HIO and NaIO could make a buffer. Um, I might just give you a weak acid in its conjugate base. I might give you something strong, in which case it's not a buffer. If you're different by more than one H, um, for instance, another example, if I said H3PO4 and HPO4 minus two, that's a weak acid, that's a weak base, but they're different by two hydrogens. So no, they are not conjugates, so this is not a buffer. Um, however, H3PO4 and H2PO4 minus. Weak acid, that is different from it by only one H, so yes, this would be a buffer system. Um, so again, the conjugate weak base could be hiding in the salt. Frankly, I could give you two salts um, where one is hiding a weak acid and one is hiding the conjugate weak base. Uh, as long as you meet these two criteria though, after breaking apart only the salts, don't break apart anything that's already weak, um, then you can have a buffer system. Practice.